All right, today is May 20th. This is episode 33. And I'm about to weld in this uh, rear quarter panel. I've got everything set where it needs to. I had to, uh, there's a little bit of a seam here, but that's okay. I'm gonna weld that and fiberglass it. I had, what I had to do to get it to slide back enough is I had to uh, gently persuade this B pillar down here because it was running into the waterfall panel. Um, so I put a pair of uh, vice grips there on that seam and up underneath here, as you can see, in order to create uh, the right gap and things be at the right height. Um, before I started today's episode, I would finished welding this, so that's welded shut. Um, and it's, I also welded it right here and back there. So, all right, so I'm going to get started with this weld right here. Here we go. All right, there it is. Got it welded up. So, welded it shut there, where it transitioned into the, you know, slid behind there. So that'll be ground smooth. I got uh, some good welds at the bottom of the B pillar here. Got some good uh, tack welds on the back of the, or on the uh, inner wheelhouse where it attaches to the uh, rear quarter. Um, I'll. I'll grind those down and make them look a little bit prettier, but um, that is going to be, well, that part's not going to be seam sealed, but this along here will be. Uh, actually, maybe, nah, I, that, I don't need to seam seal that, just, just along here pretty much, of course, down there. I started to weld this up, and I was blowing through. I can't get my copper piece back there such that I'm not going to blow through, so... I got some of it closed, but what I'm going to do is just fiberglass that uh, with the resin and cloth, and then all of that's going to be seam sealed anyway, so it's not going to present an issue. It'll be okay. Um, back here, well, before I go into that, um, got it welded there, as mentioned before. I got it welded, a uh, tack weld, uh, or actually a, a good <laughs> several there. We got it welded right there. That, that way it keeps everything nice and tight back there. Um, but what I'm dealing with now, or considering, is, and you can see I've actually on the backside too, where I punched holes uh, in the inner fender well, how I got some weld back there as, as well. So what I'm considering right now is, uh, we got a good seam here, so everything is lined up nice. Um, but we did have to draw that in uh, with some clamps to, to you know make it stay together which is why I put these these welds there and uh, they're technically not supposed to be there that's supposed to be a body seam but I'm debating whether or not I want to go ahead and finish welding up you know maybe not weld all the way up the panel but uh, you know several more in there grind them smooth and then just body fill over it um, I sort of don't want a body fill over it. I sort of want that seam to, sh to you know, show and to be there because that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, but I don't know. I'm undecided, so I'm not going to address it right now. And so right now I'm just going to start doing a bunch of grinding. Here we go. All right, I got everything uh, ground back to where it needs to be. This seam right here is welded shut. No, it doesn't look that pretty, but it is. Um, it's strong. In fact, when I when I bought this Jeep, this right here was loose. You could actually 
when you shut the door, this actually moves because uh, the floor was gone down here. The, the pillar not only uh, helps for, um, you know, the, the crushing of downward forces, but also from, from the side to side, you know, forces as well. So this is uh, way, way sturdier than it was before. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna fill these, this is where armor plate used to be, these holes. I'm gonna fill those holes with some weld and use my copper backing plate on it. Um, I got the, this is, uh, this is where I welded from the backside. I just kind of cleaned that off because you could see where the heat had distorted the metal slightly. Um, obviously that's gonna get a skim coat of um, body filler to, to make sure it's straight. And I decided to go ahead and keep my seams. So what I did is I welded it at the top real good uh, and then welded it just at the very bottom down here. That way I know it's, it's, uh, you know, it's creating strength and integrity there, but I still get the look of the, the seam that's there. So um, again, I could, I could weld it shut and just smooth it over with stuff, but I kind of like the fact that it's, you know, you can see uh, two panels coming together and that there's an actual actually a good seam good gap there um, So everything's real solid now this thing is in And so like I said, I'm gonna do these uh, Fill some wells down there grind them back and then I'm gonna do the uh, fiberglass and cloth trick over the weld seam there um, as well as Well, I'm not gonna do it there because I don't want it to cover this this here but um, I might I might do it right here just to kind of smooth that up but as you noticed I put this up there so I wouldn't get any sparks in where the uh, gas filler knob filler nozzle or hose or whatever is so yeah there it is it's it's in and it's solid and it's done <laughs> that's the that's the most important thing it's done so um, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna seam seal down along there. That is welded from the back side. Uh, looks a little bit sketchy, but it, it's it's pretty solid. It's not going anywhere. Um, got a good uh, good seam here all along that side and back. of Everything is real tight, so it worked out well. Hopefully, I can have the same success over there, which is the last part of everything that needs to be done as far as panel replacement. Um, I'm not going to do it today, but starting Monday, I'm going to cut that inner wheelhouse out and basically I'm going to try to uh, only take it loose and then cut the panel back behind the, the B pillar and only replace uh, the part that's needed um, because I really don't want to undo the, that's even a better, that's even a better uh, B pillar weld in than I did over here. This is one of the first things I did. So I got better over time and that one is really solid. So I don't wanna disturb that if I don't have to. All right, see you in a bit. All right, I got all these holes filled with weld. <clears throat> it's a little hard to do because they're, I don't know, they're probably at least a quarter inch in diameter. So just had to kind of bridge the, the bead of weld that I put around the circumference, and bridge it over. Um, I was able to use my copper backer, so that helped. So now I'm just going to grind them down smooth and then uh, fiberglass over top of that. There we go. All right, I got some uh, self-etching primer over that area there, as well as these areas, you know, where the welds from the backside caused um, some discoloration and deformation of the metal. So I, you know, flapped it back uh, to clean it up. And then, of course, the bare metal has to be treated with the self-etching primer. Um, and then back here, I haven't done anything yet because I'm just going to put some... Uh, on that weld seam there, just to smooth it, I'm gonna put some short strand fiberglass uh, up here. What I did after filling those holes with a weld, um, I'm just for it, an extra measure, good measure, because I have I have uh, one area that um, 
the metal was real thin anyway. So I just went ahead and put a, a fiberglass cloth and resin over top of that whole area, you know, that I repaired. Uh, you know, or put this, the welds on the uh, diamond plate holes that were there. So I'm gonna let that set up. I'm done for today. Um, this here will get a uh, short strand fiberglass uh, treatment. Um, it, it's not a water, it's not a, a potential water issue there. Not like, you know, that would be down there. Over here, uh, this also is going to get a, um, sorry, this right here, I gotta grind that back just a little bit and that that's gonna get, as well as this seam here, um, some of the resin and fiberglass cloth. So, and that, that pretty much wraps up this side as far as the, the uh, repair itself. And uh, that's the last, last animal I gotta tackle over there. So I'll start again on Monday. And uh, anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. I almost forgot. I don't. I don't think I showed this side of the repair. So uh, this is looking at that that whole section I just completed from the driver's seat uh, area. So there it is, uh, totally complete. And one more thing I wanted to show. Allison helped me with this too, um, and that is that before I welded this up here. I wanted to make sure that I had a nice, nice gap along there. So, um, yeah, all the gaps turned out well. Everything is solid. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Later.